Good evening, everybody. It was a bit slow there, so good evening to everybody. I can see there's a few of you already there on YouTube. So good evening to Trudy, Saz, Dawn, <laughs> Kathleen, Trudy, I can't remember whether I said that, Carol, Julie, Paula, Hope, Joan, Joanne, Pat, Carol, Mill, Margaret, Wendy, Janet, Nina, Karen. <laughs> so good evening, everybody. Let's let everybody get logged in before we start. Tonight is not a quick one. Surprise, surprise. Hi, everybody on Facebook. Sue, Annette, Ilona, Karen, <laughs> Sue, Di, Anne, Patricia, Lynn, and anybody else that I've missed. So we'll hang on a minute just till everybody gets here. There's a lot to do tonight, but I think you're going to like this. I'm going to enjoy it. I know that much. So let me take that off so you can see all the bits I've got on here that I'm using, which is just a few bits. <laughs> just a few. Hi, Pamela. How are you? Hi, Margaret. Hi, Caroli. Hi, Julie. Michelle, anybody I forgot? Oh, miss. Hi, Bev, Jill, Janet. <laughs> You're all getting here now. So let me just sort these mats out because that's going to bug me because it's not in the middle. So let me just move this across a little bit. It bugs me when it's not more central. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. I think I need to clean my mat at some point. So, hi to everybody who's just joining. Uh, yeah, I thought we'd have... Hi, Jean. Hi, Jackie. Sat in bed so you can watch. Oh, bless you, Jackie. Hi, Leslie. <laughs> That's dedication, Jackie. Hi, Carol. Right, before I carry on, I just want to say, I don't know... Uh, you won't know this, obviously. But I just want to say a special hello to Margaret Loveday and Paul Loveday. Um, if you're watching, well, Margaret, I know you'll be watching. If not during the live, I know you'll be watching tomorrow. So I just wanted to say a special hello to you two. We had a lovely email from Margaret's son, Paul. Um, and I just wanted to say hello to you. And I'm glad I'm bringing you some inspiration and a few giggles, hopefully. So I just wanted to say that before I forget. So a special hello to Margaret and Paul Loveday. Right, we've got a lot to do tonight, so I'm going to get cracking. Uh, lots and lots of bits I've used, and I'm going to move all this, and I'm going to bring them in as and when I use them. So we're doing, with, when I say we're doing, I mean I'm doing uh, a little bit of a... I, I, I hate saying mixed media, but I guess it is because we're using paints and stuff. And I've got a few, uh, just a few bits... Just a few bits on here that we're going to have fun with. Uh, before I forget as well, let me just say well done to all the ladies who and David who joined in the online workshop yesterday. We did a cracking job. We were only four and a half hours. Were we? 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. What time did we finish yesterday? I forgot. Was it half past three? 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. No, it can't have been half past three. It must have been half past four. So we, we did, we finished in four and a half hours, which is record time. <laughs> Hi, hello. <laughs> but we had a lovely day yesterday. Um, cream cracker today, but here we are. It's the Royal Wee, Chrissy. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> uh, hi, Edna. Right, so we're going to do a little bit of a mixed media card. And I hate using that phrase. You know I do. Because it's not mixed media, it's just the fact that we're using an ink, we're using a paint, we're using gesso. But what we're going to create is a really pretty shabby chic style card. And this, I'm doing this in my new favourite, my new favourite colour. So again, the people that were on the online workshop will know this. But petrol blue is my new favourite colour. So we are using the... And do you know what? I've, I've even managed to match the the uh, banners and everything from the for the fly the flyers for the live in petrol blue. <laughs> so 
So we are using petrol blue, but we're going to get different shades from it. I'm not using any other paint, just petrol blue. It's going to be a one tone or one colour, lots of tones of petrol blue. And I wanted to show you this. We spent a bit of time on, on the darker colours yesterday in our online workshop. Or, or the richer colours. Because we look at this and it's a gorgeous colour. Thank you, Sue. Your tag was gorgeous, by the way. I meant to reply to you. I know, David. How's your shoulder? Oh, Maureen. Oh, bless you, darling. I hope you feel better soon. Oh, bless you. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I wanted to use the darker colours, the richer colours, to give you some, to show you that you can do more with them. It's easier to make dark colours lighter than it is to make light colours darker, if that makes sense. And just so you know, look, look at that for a colour match. So Uncharted Mariner is almost, almost a perfect match for my petrol blue chalky paint. And we are going to do a little bit of background stamping. So we've got grey board on here. I've got flowers that are die cut. Uh, hi to everybody who's just joining. Find your clock hands out. <laughs> uh, let's just, oh, let me just look over. I've, I've missed a few of you joining on YouTube. Forgive me. So good evening to everybody who's on YouTube and I've not said hello to you. Uh, I know Margaret, <laughs> Rob saying that's Phil sorted the shoes or the floorboards out. <laughs> You'll find out if I have to get up later. <laughs> yeah, Margaret, I know Margaret watches my YouTube video. So hello, Margaret, again. I just don't want you to think I'd missed you. Uh, yeah, so we're doing, we're doing a few techniques on here. This card is filthy, so I'm going to have to turn that round. Look at that, it's minging. So I'll use the other side. This is a proper A5 card as well. So the actual base of this is a proper A5. Now you know I don't make proper cards when I do the lives because I just end up wasting, wasting the card. So I do, the, we call them fronts, the card front. So effectively what I'm gonna make tonight could be your A5 card. Um, the full card. So it's A5 and two small layers. Now you know my top tip for matting and layering is to not keep them all the same size. So if I just line that up and show you. I've got a bigger gap, a bigger, a bigger space on the bottom than I have on the top. Yeah. Islander. Oh, I'm glad. I, do you know what, Linda? I just saw your photo. Just before I, I came up and went live, I was sat finishing my other coffee and I just happened to catch your photo in the in the group from yesterday. Uh, no, I'm not. No, so it's not a real car. <laughs> Don't get excited. Hi, Kerry. Oh, good, Sue. It gives you some inspiration, doesn't it, when you need to look at it. Hi, Doreen. I've not started yet. I'm just rattling and rattling and yakking on as usual hi hazy babe i promise you i'll phone you when i get time as well uh in fact you know what hazy babe i think it's time we all caught up for a coffee with caroli and pamela and everybody right so from the gray board now you all know i love 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 and here we go with the loves i love my gray board love it if you've never used gray board i want you to treat yourself to one even if it's one of the sheets i'm using tonight and have a go with it i'm just going to poke these bits out i thought i'd already done it so this clock that i'm using is from the tray chic gray board which is the same one that we used on our online workshop yesterday so you people who were in the workshop yesterday you're going to be able to copy this because you've already got the grey board. You might need to buy the tatty tickets. But hopefully you've got all the bits. And you should have the petrol blue. So I'm just poking these little bits out. 
I'm keeping the centre in as well. Here we go. So I'm keeping the centre in. You're not going to see that because I'm going to pop that on top. Okay. Get rid of the bits. I'm not saving the little party bits because they're no use to anybody. So we've got a lot to do. This this is this is what I'm using tonight. <laughs> so quite a few quite a few products. Having to watch a magnifying glass to re to comment. Kerry, I've missed what you've said. I've mi I've missed a few comments. Will you be at Doncaster in June? Sadly, Kerry, we can't. Uh, we're away. The timings were just really bad. We are at Port Sunlight in a couple of weeks. I can't even remember when it is. Janet, you need to treat yourself, Chuck. If you've got any of my paints, mind you, you don't even need paint for grey board. Let's just clear that up for Janet. So grey grey board is amazing because it's it's super light. It doesn't add any weight to your projects because it's it's just so light. Um, and you don't have to paint it. You can use your embossing powders on it. You can use your Distress Oxide, your ink pads on it, just to change the colour. Uh, and obviously, if you've got plain shapes, if you've just got regular shapes, you can put fancy papers on them and then just sand it off. So, there's so many different ways you can use it. I think I'm going to do... I keep saying this, but when, when I get time, I am going to do a product focus video for the YouTube channel just using Greyboard and show you all the different techniques you can do with it. I don't like the NEC, Brenda. Port Sunlight. Um, Karen might know, Pam. I know Port Sunlight is on the Wirral. Uh, and we always used to go there till they stopped doing it. Well, now... Now... Um, I forgot her name. <gasps> That's shocking. She'll kill me. Da, 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 da. Tony. Tony Stamps by Me have taken over the show at stamps by uh, to the Wirral and obviously I know Tony really well so we're going to support her and hopefully get to see some of you all again right come on Phil stop yakking we're going to start with the grey board and we are using the paint I'll show you the dyes when we get to them so I'm using petrol blue I've got my kitchen roll from yesterday so I'm not wasting any of my kitchen <laughs> crafting on a budget <laughs> and we're going to create a couple of different shades of petrol blue so let's have that let's have that lighter and that darker that can be lighter and that can be darker okay so here we go paintbrush where are you Karen's going to post a link. Port Sunlight's down the road from you, Pam. Wow. Who threw you out, Helen? It weren't me. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Imagine Helen getting kicked out of the Facebook Live. Uncharted Marin is your favourite colour, Hope. Yeah, I, I love blue tones anyway. You know I do. I will just give you a little tip. Before I start, let me just give you this tip. I'm just going to give you this tip. I'm not doing it tonight because I'm showing you. I'm showing you monotone, monot monotone tonight, or one tone. But let me just show you how beautiful these are. Custard slice and petrol blue are stunning together absolutely stunning together and then if you use them when they're wet where they overlap you get a gorgeous gorgeous shade of green but custard slice and petrol blue are beautiful together right so here we go do you know what janet i should i should invent my own kitchen roll <laughs> so i'm just going to paint this on and because it's a darker color I only need one coat. I'm leaving the fleur de lis in. And I'm going to pop it out once it's dried. 
the beauty with chalk paints is if you i mean you know i don't like to get messy um i don't actually mind if it's something i can clean off easily and the chalk paints because they are water based they wash out of your clothes they wash off your hands uh and they that's already drying and they're just really really lovely to work with so here we go I'm hoping I can be done. My dinner's going to be ready at nine tonight. So we've got until nine. <laughs> what's not left can be homework for somebody. Or what's left to be done can be homework. <laughs> I've got so many demos that I don't get done. <laughs> so I'm literally just painting this on. You can see... You all know that I absolutely love my chalky acrylic paints. It's one of my favourite, favourite, favourite products that we've ever done. There are more colours coming soon as well. So if you're stocking up, remember, you can buy these in the sets of five that I've put together. Or you can buy them individually. And that's, that's nearly dry already, look. Look at that beautiful colour. And that's nearly dry. I don't worry about the edges on grey board. I just leave them. I quite like the burnt edges. And we're now going to do the clock. But I want the clock to be a lighter colour. So still petrol blue. But a very a paler version. Hi Emma. Just been to see poor things. What's poor things Emma? I don't even know what that is Chuck. Uh, so, oh, sorry, I'm doing it without telling you. So the way to get paler shades with your chalk paints is with our gesso. And what's really important for me to tell you is, I say it all the time, but not all gessos are created equally. This this has got a high, the, the chalky content in this is really high, so it works perfectly well with the paints. So we're going to tone this down. So I'm going to try and make sure I do enough. So I'm going to put some on there. Let's just have a little bit more. I'm going to put some on there and then I'm going to mix in some gesso. Or I am when I find another small brush. Where are you, small brush? Oh, you're in the paint pot. Oh dear, that's really bad, Phil. I'm just going to show you this. You'll be ashamed of me. <laughs> this is this is from yesterday's workshop. <laughs> and it's that colour because I was using chocolate, chocolate, dreamy chocolate paint yesterday. Emma says it's a film that's won some BAFTAs. Emma Stone's in it. I think it might win some, but it was weird. Right, so we're going to mix in some gesso. So important, so it, this is really important. It is from Miss Yesterday, Michelle. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Bev. Hi, Annette, not to worry. I, do you know what? I'm going to show you again for everybody who didn't see it. That's shameful. And yesterday when we were doing the workshop, I specifically said to everybody, and they'll tell you, they'll, they'll drop me in it, don't leave your brushes in water and dry them flat. And what have I done? The exact opposite. Anyway, right, so we're going to get some gesso. And it's really important that you don't get any of the chalky paint in your gesso. I could have done that with a spatula, but I am going to use that. It's, don't get even a drop, even a drop of the chalky paint. It's so highly pigmented that one tiny drop in your, in your gesso will ruin it. So now let's mix that together. Look at this colour. Uh oh, it's beautiful. Look at this gorgeous colour. I'm going to put that. That's incredible. 
So products that you might already have. You might already have gesso. But look at that. So we've now created a different... I'm going to make it a bit darker, actually. Let me get my spatula. I'm going to make it a touch, just a touch darker. That should do. I'm just trying to get all the paint off. I just want it a little touch darker. There you go, that's better. So it's not too pale. That's perfect. Now you do need to work relatively quickly. So uh, if you're writing down all the tips I'm giving you, I'm just gonna wipe that. You do need to use this relatively quickly. If it dries on your mat, just give it a mist with some water. Give it a mist with some water and that will fix it. So now we're going to paint these. I'm sorry, but this is absolutely stunning. This has actually worked out and I'm not going to lie to you. But this has actually come out a better colour than I thought it was going to do. I knew it was going to be pretty. But this is, this is gorgeous. So again with the clock, I'm not worrying about the edges. I never worry about the edges on grey board. I'll take a breath in a minute and read some of your comments I'm sure I've shown you all this before have I I can't remember I'm just going to do around the edge of here again because that's the bit you're going to see look at that So two completely different colours. This looks a bit bluer on screen than it is in real life. But that's from the same pot. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Oh, oh, sugar. Just fix that bit that I put. <laughs> I got the lighter colour on. So pop that to one side. You, Elaine, why have you never used grey board? Karen, put a link on for the grey board, please. I said, you, even if you just get one sheet to have a play with, I would probably recommend the one we used in the workshop yesterday, the, the uh, tray sheet one. So let's just pop that to one side. That was the chair. That was the chair. And we're going to do two things now. I'm too excited. Get a drink, Phil. Hi, Janet. Not to worry. Yeah, you can put it in a spray bottle. Absolutely, you can. Just remember not to put too much in. If you, if you buy a load of our little misters, if you remember when I first got these, when I first got these, um, I made sure that the nozzle, the nozzle will let you put things like this through. So now onto the flowers. I'm doing all the wet stuff first. I don't need that yet. So I've got two different flower dyes for tonight. There's just a few flowers. <laughs> and I'm going to show you which ones they are before I start. Just before we get cracking. 
So this is the largest flower. Thank you, Mel. Yeah, this is the largest flower. Let me just take a breath and catch up with some of your comments. I love the ticket, Greyboard, Emma. I can't, I'm not gonna go in more light and show you, but you all know me well enough to know that I love Greyboard. I'm, I can't show everybody what we made yesterday, but I mean, this I've got loads of these, loads of tubs with all the bits in them and everything. <clears throat> so flower dies, flower dies. So the two that I'm using tonight are two that are going to be sold out really quick. So these were from the last release. So not not January's, February's. The release before the Pretty Petals, and I've used Darling Blooms and I've used Precious Blooms. So Darling Blooms is the one in my left hand. Precious Blooms is the one in my right hand. And these are the sets that give you the solid and the open flowers. I'm just using solid tonight. And what we're going to do is um, the solid flowers, I'm going to make them the lighter colour. So I'm now going to, we're now going to turn this paint into a watercolour paint. Okay. You don't have to put pr primer on Trish now. The only time I would probably recommend that you, you, and, and when, when Trish is saying primer, she just, she means a gesso. If you've got a pale colour, like if you were just using, if you were just using custard slice on its own, um, you'd probably need to do two coats because it's a lot paler. Uh, or you could prime it with gesso. Uh, in fact, before, before, let me just think what I'm doing. Do, 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 do. No, stop, Phil. Stop, take a breath and come back, come back and back. We're gonna put a few little roses on here. So I don't know whether you saw the layout. That would be very good, it's got one of my hairs in it. The layout that I'm doing. So I'm gonna do just a little hint of roses just round here. So I'm still using what's on my mat. I'm gonna take one of my little stipple brushes, give it a mist, just, just one mist, mix it up. You can see it started to dry look, so you do need to give it a mist. And I'm just gonna stipple Just a little bit. So this is just going to be in the background. You're not going to see much of it at all. So I haven't wasted any of this paint yet. And I'm Genuinely sorry if we haven't got any of this stencil left because it's from a few years ago. Oops. So if this starts to get too dry, I just missed a little bit of water on. And I am stippling because I like the, I like the different shades you get from stippling, the mottled effect. I'm not gonna go that far out. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to do the little one. I can't see what you're saying to me just yet. But let me just have a quick look at that. I'm just going to go in a little bit more on the big one. Oh, 
Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to do one more small one down here. And remember, the chalk paints will wash off your stencils really easily. Bugger. Pretend you can't see that. That's because I'm too giddy. I've got it all over my fingers. <laughs> Hi, Anya. So, a couple of little roses. And these are just going to be in the background. I'm going to pop that to one side now. And if, you're, if you are going to have a go at this, yeah, if you are going to have a go at this, remember to do it in this order because I'm going to wet this now and drag the flowers through it. So the paint needs to be a little bit drier. Pretend you can't see that. It's off my fingernail. So now we are going to change this and this has started to dry again, look. We're going to change this into a proper watercolour paint. So plenty of water. Mix it all up. At this stage, can you see how watery that is? At this stage, if you want it darker, just add a little bit more of your petrol blue. But I'm keeping these light, oops, because we are going to do the other ones darker. So I'm just going to drag these through. I'm just going to drag them through and pop them on here. Drag them through, pop them on here. I'm trying not to cover the whole thing, but I don't want... Drag them through. And pop it on your kitchen roll. And look how much is still left. Can I use that for anything? Do you know what I am? Now this wasn't in my plan. This wasn't in my plan, but I'm just going to do a few little splats on this because it's a shame to waste that. Actually, I'm not, I'm not, I'm wasting it. If you're watching Leone, forgive me. <laughs> if I'd have got more time, I would have used that for some more flowers. Kitchen roll. Look at that, panic stations. So this now, so these flowers now are going in my inky box. These flowers are going in my inky box. Can you see how wet they are? Hopefully you can, I can't really lift it up too much. But hopefully, oh you can. These are going in my inky box. and they're gonna be splattered with gesso. So remember my, oh, I'm saying this now, before I carry on, let me just chuck that brush in there. Before I carry on, for those of you that are new to us and you don't know, you don't know about our Facebook group, on a Thursday evening, I do a happy hour Bargain Bundle live demo on a Thursday evening at 7pm in our Facebook group, yeah? Only in our Facebook group. So if you haven't joined us, just search on Facebook for Crafting with Phil Martin and Sentimentally Yours. Ask to join the group. Accept my rules when you ask to join, otherwise I won't let you in. And if you, the people that did watch me last Thursday would have seen me do this. So if you put a wet gesso onto, I'm gonna do it with this. If you put wet gesso onto wet paint, which is what those flowers are. Let's see if I've got enough on here. Yep, yeah, perfect. We will end up with an absolutely gorgeous 
mottled shade when it dries. So I'm just going to flick this onto the flowers. Oh, they look good already. Last one. Well, that can't be mine because it's blonde. <laughs> Are you ready to see how beautiful these flowers look? This is why I like the solid flower dyes. Hang on, I'm just cleaning my counter. I'm getting carried away. Here we go. I don't know where I found the energy from <laughs> for today. Can you see them though? That's absolutely stunning. And when that dries, they will be beautiful. Right, so we're now moving on from the pale flowers. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other, the other shape. So I always recommend you have two different shades, um, two different flower shapes. Or I've actually got three tonight. But two different flower shapes on your cards and two foliage dies always makes it look uh, just that little bit extra. And you can't go wrong with being extra, trust me. So we're now moving on to the doodars. These are the darling blooms. And these are going to be dark teal. So these are going to be the petrol blue in its true form. So still, you've noticed I haven't gone in the, I haven't gone in there for the flowers yet. Oh my God, this water is disgusting. <laughs> Can I stay to my brush? <laughs> this is why I love doing all these techniques. Hopefully you're learning something and having a bit of fun at the same time. And shopping at the same time, obviously. Somebody's got to pay for my extravagant, not lifestyle. <laughs> right, so we're now going to make these darker. Um, the brush, the brush, unfortunately, has been left in the, in the water. I shouldn't have done that. So I'm just taking the paint off the lid again. And I'm just going to show you this. Because I like to show you things that even that aren't meant to be. So can you see how thick that's got? So because I've had that pot open for a while, what happens is it'll start to dry. Well, you know, it's common sense. It starts to dry. But don't worry about it. Because we're going to water this down. We're going to water this down and drag these flowers through it. So we've now we've now used one color, one color paint in well so far through a stencil one way, watered down and mixed with gesso two ways, and now three ways or four ways because we've painted direct. So I'm going to do the same thing again with these. Drag them through. Just get another bit of kitchen roll. Drag them through and pop them on the bit of kitchen roll. <gasps> that colour. That colour is lush. You can see I'm not worrying about any white bits. White bits are good. Unless you're on holiday sunbathing. And then it depends what beach you go to. <laughs> Not worried about white bits, but I dragged that one back in because the white bit was too big. Okay, let me show you. Look 
at that colour, it's stunning. So I'm doing no more with that. I'm going to leave that to dry. Naturally, as long as we possibly can. If I need to, I'll force dry it later. So just to give you another little idea. Just to give you another little, Oh, that water's got even filthier now. Just to give you another idea, at this stage, at this stage, where the water's still wet, it's just starting to dry, but you can miss this. I'm not going to do it, but you can miss this with water. So just give it a couple of sprays in the middle of each flower, and then the water will bleed out into the flower, yeah? It will bleed out into the flower. And you will end up with a gorgeous, gorgeous gradient shade of whatever colour paint you're using. If I went on there now and splattered with custard slice, we would end up with green flecks. Oh, just so much you can do with them. So much you can do with them. I've got no space to put these. Hang on a minute. <clears throat> Beautiful. Right, so I'm going to take a breath. I'm going to take a breath, get my coffee. Yeah, you need a big notepad. And we're going to come back to the... to the stenciled... The stenciled roses, okay? My coffee is freezing. Why can it be freezing? I've just looked at the time. Um, do, oh, I've just forgot two things. Oh, I'm mad with myself. I've got two giddy, I need two. I need two butterflies, bear with me. I'm mad because I forgot my butterflies when I'd got all the paint out. So I'm gonna to have to use another bit of paint. That's all right, need to watch from the beginning, a bit late you've been to the hairdressers at this time in night, Linda. I'm sorry everybody, I've got to do this, I forgot. And I'm mad with myself for forgetting. I'm usually, I'm usually better at remembering the order I need to do things. Uh, see if that's enough. It's not, so I need to take some out of there. I'm just going to do a little watery background for this, for us to stamp onto. So a little watery background. You can see how opaque that is now I'm just gonna add some more water that's it I'm gonna leave that I should have done that earlier, so that might have to be blasted with the heat gun in a bit. We're going to stamp onto that with the butterfly stamps. And I'm mad with myself now for forgetting. Right. So we'll come... I can't do anything about that now, so... We'll come back to our little background. Christine, I watch it again on playback and then make all your notes. Yeah, it's a good idea, Christine. This is, I do need more coffee. It's a good, this is why I like doing the Facebook Lives with you all. Um, it's all It's all well and good being on TV, but I, I can never do things like this if I'm demoing on TV. Um, there's just not enough time. There's just not enough time. I love the botanical stamps so much. George, I'm glad you're here, Georgie. And I saw that you'd requested to join the group. I can't remember whether I accepted you or not, but... I'll, if I haven't, remind me and I'll do it later. Uh, 
Joanne, you always make it look effortless, Phil. It is. One sheet does plenty, but in Phil's case, one sheet isn't enough. <laughs> I bet you got Kitchen Doodal would sell very well in the US. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh dear. I'm gonna to have to I'm gonna to have to if invent something and call it a doodah. I wonder if we'd get away with that. Right, so we've we've now used the we've now used one pot of paint through a stencil mixed with gesso and direct on its own onto grey board and painted onto grey board. And I'm just gonna show you these now. Cause look at these colours. These are these are now bone dry. Look at these colours. That is from that. Who'd have thought it? Love it. And look at the coverage, everybody. Quality. Quality first. Right. So enough yakking film. You've got loads to do. Get on with it. So we're now going to use Trudy's stitching border stamps. And the way I've designed the layout for this card. Um, oh. That is my chair creaking and not me. The way I've designed the layout for this card is the clock's going to go about there. That's going to go on there. This is going to be down here somewhere. Yeah. And these, if you haven't got these, apologies, I'm sorry. Leonia's doodad, what is what it is so you can merge the two oh can you imagine how i'm a me and leonia are obviously really good friends but we should cut we should do a collab me and, Le me and leonia should do a collaboration that would be fun uh yeah these lovely little stitching borders don't know whether we've got any so apologies if we haven't but i'm gonna do just a bit up and down this is one of those projects where we all say Trust the process. Trust the process. So this is obviously not going to fit on there. Let me just get a DL. Oh, I've got one of my little border ones. That was handy. It was also lucky because there were no others in that part. So I'm going to use this little stitching one when I find it. There it is. I want this little wavy stitch. Now, if you've got these stamps, marvellous. Wait, well, don't fit. I need a DL block. Bear with me a sec. Bear with me. I've got tubs of things all over. Oh, here it is. go you absolutely need gesso and a, chalk, a set of chalk paints in your stash so this this little border is absolutely fabulous and i'm just going to show you it's already it's already uh wavy but you can you can shape this as well which i think is really nice i love stamps that you can do that with I'm not going to do this tonight because it's the wrong it's the wrong shape, but isn't that clever? So let's just get this on here, and I'm going to use the Uncharted Mariner for this. <laughs> the only blesser. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Watching Facebook with no sound. You must have got it muted. Who's watching with no sound? Alison. I'm just right, Alison, I know. <laughs> I'll leave that there in case I need to reply to Alison. 
<laughs> right, so we're just going to do a couple of wavy, wavy lines. So I don't want to go top to bottom and I don't want them to be everywhere. We're going to do Uncharted Mariner is an absolutely stunning colour. So I'm going to stamp this. I'm going to take off some from the top. Take off some from the bottom. And we're going to stamp this in first and second generation. So this is literally just going to be only seen a little bit. I'm just going to do another one a bit smaller. I'm going to have to clean that. I nearly did. I want it smaller. Just remember if you wipe ink off your stamp to dry the stamp as well. Let's turn it the let's turn it the other way around. No, that's the same way. Turn it the other way around. That's it. So I just want it a little bit smaller. First and second. Job done. I can hear I can hear everybody's mind now going, what are you doing? What are you doing, Phil Martin? Trust me. By the time all my flowers have gone on this card, you will hardly see any of this. Love these. I wish I'd thought of it. Uh. <laughs> Bless you, Alice. <laughs> The shade of blue is stunning. Yeah, blue is my favourite colour as well. <laughs> uh, right, so let's get cracking. Hey, we're not doing bad. It's only five to eight. We're not doing bad at all. So whilst we wait for that, we'll come on to the sentiments. Now, again, I think I use these in our in our private facebook live in our in our group last week um and i remember saying last week to you all i absolutely love this set of stamps so these were the ones that were designed to uh fit in our uh banner and something like that is banner and something like dies i can't remember what you call them oh it tells me on here flags and banner dies these fit in the flags and banner dies and I just love the words that are in these. I really, really, really like just motivational, generic, positive sentiments. You don't always need to put happy birthday or best wishes on a card. And I'm going to do choose happy. These are bits of scraps from Mattin and Larry. And as you know, I always keep, I always keep bits of scrap. Um, because they always come in handy for this. And I'm going to do choose happy when I find it again. Choose happy. And it fits just nicely on here. And I am going to stamp in the Uncharted Mariner. Now you can stamp with the chalky paints. You can stamp with my metallic paints. So you just have to apply it, mist it with water and stamp it quick. Julia is way better at that kind of thing than me. So forgive me if my head gets in the shot because I've been twirling my hair, as you know. 
Anna, what are you doing? Anna's asking me what I'm doing. I honestly don't know, love, to be honest. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> We're making a pretty card. So all these little jobs I'm doing now are giving that paint and the flowers time to dry. Let's see where they're at. And that lovely and that fun. Choose happy. Oxides take a while to dry as well, remember. So keep them to one side. I'm going to pop this onto my card blank now. So this is just going flat. I'm doing no splats on this. We're leaving plenty of white space on this card. White space is good. I've got four, I've not got four and a half hours tonight. I know you're right. So that one's flat, the next, and that's going onto the card on foam tape. I'm gonna just stretch that. You would obviously take a little bit more time than I am. I'm crafting quick. Crafting quick. straight in the bin and then we're going to pop that on there I'm going to do it sideways I find it easier to do this sideways now I'm doing this in oh sugar where's that come from <sighs> oh, I'm going to swear I won't swear, I might give this card away now because it's tarnished. <laughs> I don't know where it's come from. At least it matches. <laughs> At least it matches the card. Oh, thank you, Elaine. Elaine's just said, Phil, I've got to say, I've received my order and your car stock is gorgeous. I don't want to use it. It's too nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is just pure white card stock. I don't use any other. I can't cover that bit of paint up at the top, so I'm not even going to try. That's what happens when you're crafting quick. So I might give this away. In fact, I know I'm going to send this to. I'm going to send this to Margaret Loveday. I can't tell you all why, but it'll cheer her up. So Margaret, if you're watching, darling, this will be winging its way to you on Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday. Not in that state, obviously. Right. So th that's the card um, starting to take shape. We, we need to come back now to the flowers and everything and see where we're at. So these were obviously the first ones. 
and they're still not quite dry. This is the mop up that we did. Love that. So this is just where we did the mop up. Not dry yet. But let me show you these. Oh, they're just so gorgeous. So these are clearly not dry yet. So I'm going to give them a quick blast. They are nearly. So I'm just going to give them a quick blast with my heat gun. And now I've got 317 sockets in the in my craft room. I don't need to unplug anything. I can just crack on with it. Oh, Maureen, darling. I hope you feel better soon. kitchen roll <laughs> so that's how the, I would never normally force dry these you know I wouldn't um, I prefer to leave my flowers to dry naturally so now we've got these dried we'll get these shaped up so in with the mat uh, I'm gonna shape these with my bone folder actually when I find it. So I'm shaping these back with my bone folder. And the, these are the precious blooms and you won't be able to see this, but because we've used chalk paint, it actually gives them a really nice texture as well. It doesn't interfere with the card but it, it just gives them a really nice uh, soft texture. They almost feel velvety. Oh, and there must be something going around, is there? So I'm just gonna whiz through this. I would normally spend a bit longer, as you know. Try not to pull a petal off on the online work. Now, when did I kill the dragonfly? Was that last week? <laughs> pull the wing off my dragonfly. <laughs> Honestly, if anybody's watching for the first time, <laughs> I don't normally pull the wings off my dragonflies. <laughs> Right, here we go. Let's get these shaped up. And I'm using, in the centre of these, the plain diamond gems. And you'll understand in a second why I used two different shapes of flower. So these are actually going to be doubled up so which one do I want on top? They're both nice. These are going to be doubled up. And then the other ones are left single. So that create, just doubling them up, look, creates a lovely full flower. And I'm only using two for each flower. I'm not going in the centers two is enough and 
trying to do this quickly. Do you know what? My car's been frozen for the last few mornings. I've had the eating on, eating on for ages. I can't bear to be cold. So those three flowers are done apart from the gems. Put the gems in, Phil. There's no glitter going on these. No glitter going in the flowers. I'm going to pick the big one up. So push the gem down, pull the petals up. Push the gem down and poke the petals on. Put them to one side, put those to one side and bring in the other flowers. I hate force drying these, but I'm gonna have to do. A couple of the smaller ones have dried, but I just need to blast the big ones. I may as well do this at the same time. At least you get a full, you've got both fires on, wow. Trying to, someone is asking us to click see more. Right, I need to just find that. Bear with me a second, everybody. On Facebook. It might, it might not let care. It might not let you. Oh, it should let you, Mel. It should let you, Mel, because you're admin. Where is it? Spam. Reporting. for that racket. Kev, did you manage to get rid of them? We're not having spammers on our Facebook lives. And if I find out where you are, you better run. So I'm just going to shape these up. Now these are all individual. Look how beautiful that is. And if I put that next to the other one, look, are you ready? Look at that for a colour palette. Is that not just the most beautiful colour palette? I know petrol blue is not is a preference thing. Uh, but I just love these colour this colour. And if you're if you're thinking about the chalky paints and you've not I mean most people will have had had them all already. But remember on the on the website if you find the chalky paints and you um Yeah, if you find the chalky paints, you'll see that we have them as uh, we have them as individuals and as sets of five. And the sets of five are the ones I've put together that that work together. For example, the heritage hues, the heritage ones are all the rich tones. So I'm just going to shave these up quickly. 
I'm just going to pop that one in as well. You know me well enough to know that I would spend 20 minutes doing a flower. But we don't have that luxury tonight. <laughs> so the smaller ones I'm just whizzing round in the middle. The larger ones I am just shaping the petals back. Now I'm just going to show you something before I put the gems in this. It's a conscious decision when I did this. So when I... Uh, hopefully it's a little bit of a tip for you so when I was prepping this earlier I knew that I wanted the precious blooms which is the precious blooms is the the one that's got the little little tip on the end look the the rounder flower I knew that I wanted that as the solid flower and I knew that I wanted the darling blooms as individuals so because we've got the individuals and we've got the doubles, it does two things. It adds interest to your card and it also makes it pop a little bit more. But I'm just going to show you how the Darling Blooms work inside the Precious Blooms because they, I can't stick it in obviously. But look how gorgeous the, the Precious Blooms with the Darling Blooms inside. How beautiful is that? Anyway... I'm just trying to cram your head with as much information as I can while you've got me here. So I'm just shaping these up now. So what happens with the pointy ones, the darling blooms, is they'll be a bit more pert. So they'll be a little bit perkier than the other one. I'm forgetting what my own dyes are called. Precious Blooms and Darling Blooms. Darling Blooms are the pointy ones and they are the ones that will stay pert. So pop your gems in. I'm using it so Internal joke, sorry. Sue's always telling me to use the pickup tool. So I am. I have been really good with it. It's just breaking habits. And one more oh two more and push those in so remember not to push in with the little wax tool because it will break it so I'm going to pop these flowers to one side and then we're going to stamp the uh, butterflies I want two butterflies from this. So this this is all one colour in different tones. Which just looks really, really stylish. Right. So my scrap bit of card. Scrap bit of card and... Tell me what I'm doing. Stamping the butterflies. And I want the smallest butterfly, which is probably, probably this one. Yeah, probably this one. And I'm gonna stamp it in the Uncharted Mariner. So we're doing a tone on tone thing. I just need two butterflies and I want to try and get these flecks in it. I'm trying to get all the 
flaky bits. <laughs> the things you normally avoid, I'm trying to find them. I'm just going to do another one because I missed a bit there. Perfect. Perfect. It's like ready, steady, craft. I should do that. We should do that. A ready, steady, craft weekend. Pop them out of the way so I don't splat them. Just give that a blast because it's oxide. I'm just going to blast this. cut these out oh it must be getting near dinner time because my stomach's rumbling what a great way of colouring the butterflies to match perfect that's why I called the video Perf perfection in petrol blue what a mouthful eh? perfection in petrol blue I'll just cut these out really quickly. You know I'm rubbish at fussy cutting. I'm trying to keep the antenna on both halves. Let's see if it survives the whole cutting process. It might do. I'm certainly on this one. Do you see what I mean about the Uncharted Mariner? It works really well with the petrol blue paint. It also works well with the one that I used on the workshop yesterday, everybody. Karen's going to kill me if we haven't got any Uncharted Mariner ink pads in the shop. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that about a, a weekend retreat because I have thought about it and I did talk to Kay and Alfie from Indigo Blue about it ages ago because they do their dirty weekends. It's just trying to find time and a venue that suits everybody. So nearly done. I'm actually doing really well, so I think it'll be just before nine when I finish. I've never crafted so quick. Just pop that on. I was going to stamp some extra clocks. I'll save that then. But I don't think we need them. There's enough, there's enough there. So just to give that a second longer to dry, I've got here my essential everybody needs these in the craft stash these are these are the heart sprigs everybody needs these so i've used these two for tonight could quite easily have used any of the others and chopped them down and i'm just going to glitter these oh put your lid on phil before you knock it over The, pro the problem with the weekend, we we'll started something now. The problem with the weekend retreats is, you know, there you go, a lot, a lot further south. <laughs> um, is finding a venue that suits everybody. And I would end up 
doing one in the south, one in the north, one in the Midlands. But leave it with me. It is something that I'd love to do. And Karen's like, no, it's too much work. I'm too busy. Because you all know me well enough to know that I would have the idea and then Karen would be the one that ended up with, <laughs> with all the logistics. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, which I'd be surprised if you don't, Karen, who you've seen on the comments is my sister and she's the one that manages the shop for me in Sheffield my long-suffering sister bless her I'll, t I'll text her and I'll say I've had an idea and she'll go no <laughs> which I just think is funny uh, then we are nearly done I'm just getting everything ready for the fav my favourite part which is the assembly so remember when I did this, I told you I wasn't going to splat it. Because sometimes when you've got lots of colour going on, yeah, you don't need the splats in the background. Uh, you, you could if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. So we are getting towards the assembly stage. I'm just going to pop that out. Because I want that to be dimensional. love it uh, I've just got these little flowers here that I forgot about these these are from this year's release and I've kept them white and because I'm using the gems rather than the pearls I can't put a I can't put a gem inside because they're too big so that will be a little fleck of glitter These are the Delightfully Dotty, the Practically Perfect, in the small three. This is the smallest flower I've ever done in a die. I think I was a bit tight with the glue there. Come on, Phil. So one... and again I haven't drunk my coffee I'm so rubbish at it and I have got two coffee warmers now one's still in the car <laughs> and one's in my craft bag so we're getting towards the end where we can see it all come together my favourite part is the putting it all together. Although I do enjoy all the techniques that we've used tonight. That was my stomach rumbling. So remember, I haven't put any glitter on the, um, on the grey board or on the flowers. And we're going to start the assembly now. And this card belongs to Margaret Loveday. Oops. And I'll sign it for you, Margaret, before I, before Karen posts it, because you know it won't be me. So I've just created the lovely, I might put a bit of glitter on the butterflies. I might contradict myself. Right, so here we go. Assembly. So I'm going to use uh, glue gel for all my embellishments. Just because I like the little bit of height and dimension that you get. And you'll notice that I left this centre in the clock. I told you right at the very beginning. Um, 
and I'm going to turn it. Where's 12? There's 12, look. So 12 at the top. And if I put this on top, I don't want to use that flourish. I'm just using it to put that on top. And then I'll make sure this bit's covered up with a flower. The only reason that I've left that centerpiece in is to give me something to put the clock on with. Do you know what? I should just get a breath, shouldn't I, and drink my coffee. So where's 12? I know I've got to put it at the right time because you all tell me off when I don't. So where's 12? X22. There you are. X22. So this is going to go... Let's go there. Oops. So just very, very slightly off the page. I'd love that. I'd definitely do a Caribbean cruise with you all. <laughs> Caribbean cruise. Sounds like a, cra a crafting cruise. We did that with Crate and Craft. Might need a whole premiere. Oh, Judith, thank you. Judith's just put, you're good at fussy cutting, Phil. Not sizzly challenged at all. I'll take that. I'll take that. Hey, hi, Lou. I didn't know you were there. Hi, Lou Collins. Bless you. Not, yeah, I know you've not seen me for ages. I am fine, darling. Thank you. Are you? I am there in a couple of weeks. Oh, that was nice. Lou popped in. Lou Collins. Uh, right, so let's get this built up. So now you see... It doesn't look so pale. It doesn't look so pale, does it? And this is going to still go on with glue gel, but I'm going to squash it down. So it's still going on with glue gel, but it's going to be flat. And I love a fleur de lis, so that's why we're using this. So fleur de lis. And then I'm going to put some glue gel in the space. Ignore my stomach. So some glue gel in the space and then I'm going to rest the, the other fleur de lis on top of it. So it's just slightly raised. I'll try and bring that in and show you in a sec. They are, look. So just slightly raised. Okay, and now we can start the fun part. So the fun part for me, as you know, is the putting it all together so tatty tickets are what are going on next and I'm just going to glue this on I'm going to try and be clever here so I don't want to cover up all that rose so I'm just going to hold it on to this clock and I did say clock just until the glue catches. <laughs> you can tell I'm hungry because that's when I get naughty. So that's now lifted, look. But only with normal glue on that side. Oh, hi, Stephanie. My first time live with you. Stuck in hospital, but thank you for keeping me company. Oh, bless you, Stephanie. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, right, so now this part is going to be just off centre with glue gel. Make sure I'm doing this the right way. Yeah. Right, 
So just a little bit, same as we did on the workshop yesterday. So just a little bit at the bottom so that it goes outside of the bar. And a little bit higher on the top part. Oops, I've just stuck my finger in the glue gel. We've all done that. So just off centre. Just off centre. So now the mechanics are done. All the mechanics, the base of it, is done and now the pretty part we're now on the pretty bit flowers so it's not a quick card <laughs> not by any stretch of the imagination although i have done it very quickly I'm going to snip this off at an angle. Oh, which way? I'm going to go that way. Just because I can. The sentiment is going to go here. So the sentiment is going to go there. I'm going to put that on last, I think. So flowers first. And you know I love a big focal flower, and that's what this one is. But it is only in two layers. So, big focal flower. And we're going to work our way up now. So, we're going to cascade around the clock and down there. Let me just put my flowers in order. I hope you've learned something different tonight. Look at these beautiful colours. Ignore my stomach. I should really eat before I do a live, but I can't. I'm not going to cover the whole clock up, don't worry. Just battered that poor flower. <laughs> battered the poor flower. This is me in my comfort zone. Sorry, that's when he, that's when I go quiet. When I'm in my comfort zone. And we come on to the smaller ones. I'm going to pop the sentiment on next because I'm going to forget it. So no glitter on the sentiment. No glitter anywhere apart from the little fronds and the tiny flowers. I'm going to tuck this underneath here. I'm just check it straight and it is so we're going to carry on with the cascade you'll notice I haven't used any of these small flowers yet and you'll see why in a second I'm 
covering up that join. That's just got wiped off. I hate it when you get clumps of clumps of pen flare on your cocktail sticks. Nearly done. Nearly done. And I was right about nine o'clock. Nearly done. Do you see what I mean about white space now? There's enough colour on this card. We could have splattered in the background if you wanted to. We could have splattered onto the grey board with gesso if we wanted to. But I didn't want to. turn the card upside down because I can see where I'm going better right so we've got the butterflies to put on next and I don't know whether you you all know me well enough to know that I already know where my butterflies are going we've got one going here and one going there so I'm gonna have that one going that way and this one going that way I've got a plan. So that one's going there. This one's going here. Sit still. Thank you. <laughs> and then we've got the little sprigs here now, the heart sprigs. So I'm just going to snip off the, egg, the ends and we're going to tuck those in. And this, oops, this little bit of white now will break the whole bit of colour up in the middle. And then by the time I put the small white flowers on, we are good to go. I, I will read all your comments. If not tonight, I will read them. I will read them with a coffee in the morning. As always, everything that I've used tonight, assuming it's in stock, because I never look and I should do, but I'm rubbish at it. So everything that I've used tonight, assuming it's in stock, is on the website. That's stuck to my tweezers. Hang on. Hang on. My tweezers are sticky. Yeah, that's fine. Let me just clean my tweezers because that's going to bug me. You do, Julia. This is something a bit different. You'd never see me. I'm, I'm not happy with that there, so I'm going to move it. Let me go this way instead. That's better. That's better. So a little bit of glue gel. These are still drying, which is not helping. The glue from the glitter is not quite dry. Let's see if I can go the other direction. Oh, that's more like it. And then I want one here. Oops, what's that?
There should be six. I'm sure I cut six of these little flourishes. So one under here. I've, this will make you laugh. I've just realised why they... I've just realised why they were sticking to my tweezers. It's because the glue's still wet on the glitter. <laughs> time, for, time for a break, Phil. <laughs> At least you know I'm not normal. Or I am normal, whichever way you look at it. So I'm just tucking the little sprigs in. Because I like the extra detail. Just another reason why I like the glue gel. So I can lift my flowers up and tuck them under. And then the very last thing I've got to put on. Oh no, it's not. It's the second to last thing. Do you see what I mean about the rose? It's just subliminal in the background. The very last thing I've got to put on after all these. I don't know whether I need all these. So let's find out. Is some random gems. And this does call for random gems. So we've got a couple of flowers that are going to be stuck on top. Now this is again a personal thing, but I like doing it. So I need a teeny tiny bit of glue gel. These flowers are so small. details tiny details oops oh, I nearly stabbed myself with my tweezers then that would have been interesting I've got my jammers on done we are nearly done and I couldn't have timed that much better oh could I and we've made this from scratch from scratch I like details little tiny details in case I've not said it a hundred thousand times already, I know Leslie. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll tell you something. I'm grateful it was these tweezers and not them tweezers. <laughs> so just two more, and then just a couple of gems. And I've slung everything in the kitchen sink on this card. Well, nearly, almost. You know me well enough to know I could have got a few more flowers on here. But you could actually post this card once it's dried. So I'm just going to have one more. Shall we have it there? Yeah, we'll have it there. We'll have it there. And then the very last job, a couple of random gems. I'm only doing the five mils. That butterfly's drunk. Get back. Thank you. That one's fell down. Get back up. Thank you. And then a couple of random gems. So we'll have one here because that's screaming for something. We'll have one here. We'll have one there. So one, two, one, two, three. Four, five. 
So my my couple is five. <laughs> so I know Karen's been popping links on all over the place. Karen, if you're still watching, will you do the grey board and the chalk paint again for me, please? Just so people can just click on them and it's quicker than having to search on the website. And one more. I'm sure most of you know where everything is already on the website. And I think we are done. We are done. I'm just looking to see if it needed anything else and it doesn't. So tidy up, put the lid on your glue. Make sure the lid is on your gesso and your paint and the other glue. And I can bring it in and show you a close up. We don't do things in our house, do we? And here we go. So all that work, like the, let me just show you, look. So the stitching from those stitching border stamps is just peeking through, look. This is why I love things like that, just like hidden textures. And it's just poking out the top there, look, as well. The roses from the stencil are just poking out everywhere which is exact, I knew the layout you see when I was prepping this. We've got the fleur de lis with the clock. We've got the tatty tickets, the tatty tickets in the two shades of the petrol blue. And I'll just do a real close up for you to see all the detail. I mean, you can see I've got my little flowers. It's a, it's a flower tower, a fill flower tower. How beautiful is that? And it's so easy to do, everybody. So easy to do. Do you want me to recap what I've used or are you just going to watch the video back? I am going to give this card away to Margaret Loveday, so Mar I'll sort that out. Um, and I'll just do a little quick reminder of where you can find me everywhere. Something different, Ellen, eh? Um, so let's do the little reminders. Oh, I'm doing a giveaway. What can we, I know what we'll give away. And Karen will tell me if we haven't got any. The rose stencil. So we'll give a couple of the rose stencils away. Um, you want me to do a little recap? Right, so I've used the heart sprig dies, which are the little embellishments. I've used the Notebook Botanicals Wonderful Wing Stamps. I didn't use those. Oops, I've just dropped something. I've used the Pretty Petals Precious Blooms Dyes, which is the rounder flower. I've used the Pretty Petals Darling Blooms, which is the pointy flower. I've used Petrol Blue in my Chalky Acrylic Paints. And remember the paints come as individuals or sets of five. The sets of five are colours that I've put together that work together. White Gesso. What else? The Grey Board. I can't show you the Grey Board sheet, but I can show you all my bits of Grey Board. So that's actually two different sheets of the Grey Board. Uh, anything else? Yeah, the stamps. But I don't know where I've put them. Oh, there they are. Oops, that was just fell off. And then the sentiment, the Chew is Happy, which I really, really like, is from the Rustic Typewriter Motivational Sentiments. Yeah. And I'll do another little close-up, just so you can see it all. It's actually not bad for me, that. So the dimension is, is not as high as you think. Well, I say that, but let's have a look. 
the dimension is only <laughs> it's only an inch and a bit <laughs> anyway so quick reminder so for those of you that haven't yet please do follow my sentimentally yours facebook page where you'll find lots of info and all the videos and lots of little snippets from karen and the girls at the shop you can find the shop facebook page which is honeypot crafts you can find me on facebook on my personal one which is phil crafty martin you can find me on instagram phil m martin You can find me on that there TikTok, Phil M. Martin. I'm going to do some new ones tomorrow as well. You can find me on Twitter or X as they call it now. Guess what? Phil M. Martin. <laughs> and my YouTube channel, for those of you that haven't yet subscribed, you need to get on with that, is um, Crafting with Phil Martin. So thank you everybody, I'm now going to draw the winner, so for the people who win, as always, you need to send me a private message on the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page, with your name and address and a little reminder of what you've won. So it would be the, uh, it would be the rose stencil, I might chuck something else in as well, it might be a surprise for you. So over to YouTube first, so good luck everybody on the tube. Here we go. So the winner on YouTube, and forgive me if I say your name wrong, my mouse has stopped on Anna McFetridge. So Anna, congratulations, you've won one of the rose stencils. Um, so just please send me a message on the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page, a private message with your name, address, and a reminder of what you've won. And hope I've just seen your comment. I'm not a splat person. I'm rather chunked. <laughs> you are funny. So thank you, everybody. Remember, for new people following, you must join our Facebook group. And then you'll be able to see the special happy hour bargain bundle live demo on Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. So over to Facebook. So good luck, everybody. Crikey, look how many of you. Loads and loads of you. Let me go all the way to the top. So the winner on Facebook is... Doo -doo -doo. Well, this is going to be funny because it, Helen McCrobb. But Helen McRobb has wrote that there's no sound, so Helen might not know that she's won. I'll message her, or Karen will. So congratulations, Helen. Send us a message with your uh, name and address and just a reminder of what you've won. So thank you, everybody. I've thoroughly enjoyed tonight. Go and get your chalk paints. Go and get your grey board. And then you can have a go at something as easy as this. How beautiful is that? So thank you, everybody. I'm off for my dinner. I'll see you on Thursday night in our Facebook group. 